Thank you very much. It's still the holiday edition and the history makers are in the house. Uh, when I talk about history makers, um, one of the most sustained sporting disciplines in this country, people feel that um, the most loved discipline is football. And others feel that it's hockey. Others said boxing, some say athletics. But indeed, for the ladies who really were in schools then, in the good days of old, they will tell you that one sporting discipline that is always present, any day they have the inter-schools competition, is netball. You can't have inter-schools without netball. And then netball was there, netball was there, and then uh, decided to sleep small. Then a certain gentleman who is still a staff of GBC, uh, because he's institutional memory, decided that I'll use my platform um, to revive it. So in the 80s, uh, GBC set up the first media house to get a netball team, was GBC. Today they are here. We are, we are doing it again. We, we are starting a series from today, Nkuma's birthday. Because anything about Nkuma is about a legend, uh, future. We are looking at it. So we are reviving uh, netball in this country. And so getting netball on its feet, that's the way we've tagged it. Getting netball on its feet. So it's a whole um, chapter we'll be looking at. So let me introduce my guest here. And today I have a loaded house. So I have the general secretary. Everything about netball in Ghana is in his bosom. So he will start releasing it one after the other. So no other person than Mr. Ernest Nanaya Uwusu. Denchi. Yes, the bearded man. <laughs> to you. Chief, most welcome. Thank you. And then the evergreen. Uh, he's a young man. He's a young man. Yes, yes. His name is Reverend Harry. <laughs> Reverend Nico is in the house. Reverend, do you, you still miss GBC? Oh, yeah. The good old days. <laughs> but you have moved our whole department to a new place so when i come i sometimes get lost. my way ah, okay but those days when you walk straight up you you go <laughs> this is the digital age so i think you are changing things so reverend Nugue has been the evergreen president i i don't know what uh, could have happened if uh, reverend had said okay i'm tired let me go and rest and uh, but i know there is a building process so gentlemen most welcome today we are starting a series here and uh I want to use this platform to let the world know that uh, from uh, from today, um, the doors have been opened. So we get netball to the height it deserves. We will not stop. So whether you sleep or you are even in your bathhouse, we pull you here <laughs> to come and tell us what you guys are doing um, for us to see. And remember, there is an African Games coming up. And so we need to see all the disciplines must rise up, whether you are part of it or not, whether you are an Olympic sport or not. So far as it has been practiced in Ghana, we need to get you guys to be up your feet. So we change it. So let me start with you, General Secretary. We're going to come to the legendary president. So where are we when we talk about netball? Where are we now? Uh, thank you, Tio. I think um, for about uh, four or five years and still counting, netball has been very active. Unlike those days, we play one game, you go to sleep, we come back. If you remember, I went with you to Ada yes. for a championship. If you rate the level of netball play then, we have gone through a series of tournaments. Just recently, we had our championship to select Team Ghana. Because by then, uh, netball was part of the sports code for African games. So uh, let me pause here and take the opportunity to say a big thank you to Benunu Mensah, the GOC president for sponsoring that championship to help netball federation uh, have a tournament to select team ghana for africa games come march uh, 2024. we are at a level that we can compare ourselves to any other rated african country the problem like i said the other day i was in your studio is that we don't get to play rating matches and that is the reason why we don't have invitation to play other highly rated games outside our country. Uh, God being so good, we have gotten to that stage where we were going to play a rating game that is in African games. Our girls are poised to be there to show what we always talk about. Because when we played at Adan, when we played at the stadium just recently, uh, journalists were there and they confessed to the level of game the the level of exhibition of netball skills by our ladies. So if we have a championship and you have a doctor, a whole doctor, 
They'll be coming. Playing. They, She's ready coming. to play for Ghana. They, 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 I'll bring, bring them here yes. to, for, for <laughs> Ghanaians to know that indeed the, the sport is not just for any other person. Not at all. Uh, other disciplines come here and you tell us that they have bankers, they have this, and yes. then the golfers will come and brag and go that <laughs> Royals play golf and Richmond play golf. I am then telling you. They'll be frightening us. I didn't know lawyers and uh, doctors. PhD, book long people, shabrin people. That, that tells you too that they've gone through the ranks, through the busy schools, through the circuit, the, the uh, municipals, to the regions, and now they are at the national level. Okay. Uh, viewers, so if you are thinking now, what is netball? This is it. So you see highlights of it. This this just uh, pieces of uh, some of the ladies play at the Accra Sports Stadium. You see very, very soon on our screens. And then as, as uh, NS is saying, uh, the sport is not dead to the sport is just on hibernation. Currently, uh, they poured hot water on the sport, so the sport is bouncing back. <laughs> so, uh, parents out there, our mothers out there who play, uh, uh, we, we salute you. I know there is a, a lady, a mother right now watching me, and she was uh, playing netball then at Aka High School in the in the olden days. Sure. And so, any day you talk about that sport, you're like, like quick, 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 quick. Uh, the sports is still there, <laughs> and, and so the next time you play, she walk in. We, we have most of them out there who are ready to even start training, play, but to okay. get so fit. so this is your sport. How 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 do we push it again uh, and make sure that um, from now to Africa Games time and even beyond, um, every nook and cranny, every sporting discipline that will take place in this country, we cannot ignore that sport. Uh, as we sit here, we are pleading. To the LOC for reconsideration of the exclusion of netball in the African Games. No, pause. Netball is part of the African Games. Are All you right. saying there yeah, has been the, the, the officially point, just yes. a, a correction? Yes. At the uh, when we had the joint technical meeting, so the Africa Games at Aliza Hotel. I hope you remember. Yes. The OAU. The AU uh, Social Services Department, the AU Technical uh, Committee, all the stakeholders were present. Then they discussed and then uh, announced the, the sports course. And I made a strong point for, for Nedmo. And I said that when you go to a country where Nedmo is played, when they have the Africa Games, they add netball i was personally in south africa in 1999 i was also in uh mozambique in 2011 11 where uh, uh games yes yes the maputo yes. i was there netball was was, was, part was, of the... was played south yes. africa came kenya came uh, and but are you saying right now as we speak that uh nicodemus or whatever Strangely, it is out. Are you saying netball is not part of the Now, I was coming to that. We had, we, we saw a social media post and they have listed a sports course. And netball was absent. Nobody has, the LOC, nobody has communicated officially to the Netball Federation of Ghana that your sport, this netball is no more. But just in a social media post, you you have the list and netball is absent okay um um okay so currently um officially you you are the general secretary so you keep all records so sure. you are you saying on this platform ghana is watching that um you haven't received any memo any communique whether internal or whatever that uh netball is out of the african games or netball is part of the African Games. You haven't received anything like that. So, like the president is saying, officially we have not received any communicate to that effect. But we have a site that we realized there was an official uh, information on the games that are going to be played during the Africa Games, and we realized that netball was out with chess. I think chess has been reinstated, so it's left with only netball that we are still pleading to come back. In fact, when we started with the whole process, documentation, everything they needed, it started from the blueprint. And uh, we were even commended that so far, our blueprint uh, is something that every federation should even look at. From there, every document that LOC needed, we presented. We 
presented our long list of players, even when we have not played our championship, to select the provisional team for netball. And so when we saw that uh, social media information, we, it took us back. So quickly, I called my president and complained that this is what I have seen. And it seems it is something to go by because officially there hasn't been any conversation okay. like that. On this platform, uh, we, we will do a follow-up. That's why we will get you guys here again because I will I'll, I'll send my cameras or get the LOC here. And they are friends. We'll get them here to really uh, explain uh, why even they didn't even inform you if even it is true yeah. that so currently we are all conjecturing there is a conditional clause if so what if it is just a social media post because uh this social media post has gone as far as our international federation for them to have even written to the minister for sports and then i hear subsequently another one to loc so it may carry water though officially we don't know if so officially on this platform, on this platform, uh, you, you as the general secretary, you as the president, you don't do anything. You have not been informed. Not, not from. And the even LOC. justified why uh, you were quote unquote mm -hmm. omitted. Mm -hmm. And the reason for which netball is taken out, we, okay. we don't have any. Idea. I, I, I promise giving you highlights uh, of the recent uh, justify. So let's have a feel of it. Uh, I have the players here. The players will be joining me in interview. <laughs> Reverend, let me come to you before you get more time. Uh, you don't worry. This one is just to brush aside. Ghanaian, we are talking about netball and the African games. So, Reverend, um, what will the African games platform do, one, to the revival of the game in this country? Yeah, uh, you know that, as you said in your introduction, netball was very popular in Ghana, in the actually in the 50s 60s 70s and early 80s netball was very popular and uh, i commend uh today is uh usajipo dr kwame Nkrumah's birthday and i commend him for his, his zeal in sports he uh, he established the central organization of sports and uh, the late Ohini Jang was in charge and he created a DEX at the COS, Central Organization of Sports, to liaise with the schools and colleges sports uh, federation to uh, develop netball. Actually, in 1972, uh, uh, an academical netball team was selected to go and play uh, in Nigeria at a uh, 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 an academic house sports festival inter uh, international but unfortunately nigeria could not host the netball uh, aspect of the festival because nigeria played netball but they at that time uh, were not very active in a, 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 a netball so nigeria also uh, uh, had stepped down as the GES did in Ghana, stepped down netball. But recently, they have also revived netball in Nigeria. And uh, when Ghana applied for readmission into the world uh, netball, Nigeria also applied. Nigeria is uh, was an associate member of World Netball, so. Nigeria has now moved to being a full member of World Netball uh, as well as uh, Ghana. Ghana. We were we joined in 2004 okay. as full members okay. of the World Netball, but owing to uh, Sikasem, okay. <laughs> we we'll, we'll, we'll get time to talk about the, the money issue. Mm -hmm. How much really we need? I will get you guys to give you all the platform. For us to talk about how much we need to really revive netball because i don't think that netball uh, requires the hundred thousand us dollars <laughs> to do that much even i feel that even a ten thousand dollars can should be able to to do something so you don't need that big money. Five thousand. yes it will do but Reverend, what i'm saying is that the african games whether plus or minus because we'll get official community uh, within this week or next week on this one from the loc we'll send our cameras there for them to give us answers but i'm saying that um if we we stage the african games and netball is included. What will it do to the the revival spirit, the fire that 
will be kindled in the sports. Thank you for this very good question. Uh, because of the fact that netball uh, was of the uh, sports calendar of Ghana, and by by providence, uh, 1985 GBC celebrated its golden jubilee, and uh, God had had brought me to GBC in 1983. Then GBC celebrated its golden jubilee in 1985. And then, uh, as you also said in your intro, GBC is the first media house in Ghana that uh, formed a network team. So that revival that uh, I started with the help of GBC from 1985 is still uh ongoing unfortunately uh now netball is played back at the the school level uh basic senior high technical public universities technical universities uh tibet institutions now if netball is part of the africa games it will boost the 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 the, the, the morale of all players uh involved or playing netball okay it will also boost the the morale of the uh, officials administrators uh technical coaches okay. on pass okay but if it is taken out then a player will say the players will come and you uh, 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 that's right that's right when you finish with this one i'll i'll excuse the two of you we'll get <laughs> you guys here again I'll, I'll get the ladies here because they are wonderful ladies uh, very very powerful ladies so so netball I ship them yeah and and everybody is quiet they, yeah. they, so if you don't do it the next lawyers the next business we have a lawyer coming the, the other player is a lawyer a junior lawyer okay graduated from UCC. so if we don't allow the, the ladies to express themselves at that level uh that confidence uh, that, yeah. that that ability for teamwork to really understand details we'll miss them so we'll get brilliant lawyers brilliant academicians exactly. Exactly. brilliant home caregivers mothers that we know because uh, it's a sport for them. Yeah, and so, the, 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 the player will say that, after all, uh, even Africa Games was hosted in Ghana. Ghana and then it's netball, it, will, it will never happen. Netball was not played. So then not, why I, am I wasting, in quotes, my time? You to, you do it. To play netball. You do it. I'll we, we, you'll be honored by SWAT. Don't worry. No. You'll do it again. Uh, it's just that's, a second, that's, that's, a, that's a point. That's a point. We'll do it. Handball, handball, uh, when did handball come to Ghana? Netball was in Ghana in the in in the fifties. Yes. Now handball was invented in France. Now handball is a recent game. Handball is a recent game. What which popular games were in Ghana? Football. Then when you girls go out to play, uh, boys go out to play uh, football. Football, as you already said, girls go out to play netball. So football. Netball. netball athletics and boxing this were the the the, the traditional games in so in, so, in so you find out from the uh, the loc why the if it is forgetfulness it can be everything can be changed in there so uh general secretary we are checking out from the studio we we have so time for before that. we do that yes <laughs> uh with our players who are coming in it underscores the fact that netball as a predominant female game it is shaping our ladies and it is empowering them now you have a lecturer, a doctor, who is still playing the game. You have a lawyer who is still playing the game. So they become mentors for the juniors who are yeah. learning from the basic level, senior high level. And when you go to the universities, netball has now become a very competitive game. I hear Kam Gusa, they are even planning to add the men. You know the men are also now they coming want to into come the game. No, they no, want no, no. the men to also <laughs> compete. So uh, we are pleading. Dr. Fosuasa is a very good gentleman, and I know he's hearing our voice. You should just think alike with Netball Federation and get the game played at Africa Games 2024. Okay, so the game will be played at Africa Games 2024. <laughs> uh, uh, Mr. Minister, Mr. Mustafa Yusif, a very nice gentleman. Uh, we salute you, uh, Deputy uh, Mr. Bubians, and we say thank you very much. Uh, NSA boss, uh, Professor Chumisi, and his team out there. Sure. Uh, Dr. Kuku Fosuasa, you are a man, you are a papa in the house. So. And the whole uh, Legon Business School, uh, the Coco Farmers. Uh, <laughs> doctor has been doing so many things. And then there's uh, Dr. Wusu Yes. So there are more doctors there. Uh, and all of you are there. So please, 
uh, let's try and then uh, fix this. Maybe it's, uh, it's an omission. Uh, we can bring it back. But we are bringing the ladies here to, to so you, uh, exactly. when, 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 when ladies are part of a program, it happens. I, I called for, I called for highlights of uh, the net vote and I, I didn't see it come. Uh, director, please play small for me whilst I welcome our ladies uh, to, to wrap up the show for me. So let's have a feel of the, the, the report we had on the program and then uh, the ladies will join us. Seven teams participated in the two-day national championship at the tennis courts of the Accra Sports Stadium. The aim of the championship was to select players to form the core of the national team for the upcoming African Games in March 2024. The teams, namely Spice Girls, Blazing Hunt, Future Stars, Hunters, Generations Netball Academy, Shalom and Gusa, displayed the stuff they were made of. The all-play or encounter served as a good test for the players to hone their skills for the technical handlers to select the best. At the end of the first round, four teams made it to the semi-final stage. They were the Hunters, Generation, Shalom and Gusa. Generations Netball Academy beat Shalom 20 points to 11 in the first semi-final match to book a slot in the grand finale. Hunters from Winneba also beat Spice Girls in their encounter. Gusa Select Team placed third at the end of the championship and the fourth position went to Shalom after a 15-12 final scoreline. The final was action packed. Hunters from Winneba faced Generations Netball Academy. Generations made the best out of the opportunities and carried the day 10 goals to six. Despite losing the game, officials adjudged Zita Mensa from Hunters Winneba as the best shooter. President of the Netball Federation of Ghana, Reverend Imano Mikwe, praised the ladies for their efforts. Majority, majority showed glimpses of two lovely ladies in the house. They are all netball players. But you see, the beautiful thing today is Nkrumah's Day. So we are celebrating uh, a legend as well. And uh, our mother's here. So I have Yara in the house, right? Yes. Yes. Yara uh, uh, happens to be a, a, a lecturer um, at the uh, university. University of Education, Education in Yara. Please tell me a little bit about yourself. I'm very, very particular about this. For <laughs> somebody to really know that it is not just anybody that plays uh, netball. Okay, so my name is Yaira Kuboito. I grew up in Takrade and I picked up netball in primary school where I was taught and I played till I completed. But you know, at that time, netball was not played in the senior high schools. And so I stopped playing for a while. And then fortunately for me, by the time I was finishing with my first degree in the University of Cape Coast, netball was brought back. So I got to play netball again and that was where I picked it up from, and I've been playing since then. Okay, then the next person is Abna. Yes, please. Okay, Abna Brown. Emisa. Emisa. Yes, please. You are a lawyer, but today you are not in your gown. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, you to tell me a little bit. Yes, you are a lawyer. Is it true? Uh, I'm a burden lawyer. Okay, burden lawyer. Yes, okay, burden lawyer. Okay, so you get there. Yes. Okay. When did you start playing this game? As usual as she said, right from primary school in Takrade. Hey, so so meaning that the third girls, the third sisters, no, uh, you 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 guys really. So right now, if we are to revive it, then you are going to get more of you guys and the national team players from third. Yes. Well, so. actually, you keep saying revive, but I think netball is not dead. Netball is played in a lot of places, actually. Okay. Okay. Probably I, not a lot. We of don't places. make noise about it, right? Yes, okay. Exactly. So let, it is not dead. So mm -hmm. uh, we don't make noise like we make noise for the other disciplines. Yes. So okay. So please have you seen you see the way the ladies are fighting <laughs> so netball is not there that we checked that one netball we don't make noise about it so we start making noise about it so yeah let me come to you uh, there is african games coming i i have been told that currently somebody or whether will you be disappointed if they say they won't include uh, netball in the african games very disappointed if it doesn't happen yes why um we've actually i've been called to the national team i think my first time was somewhere 2004 
So I've been in and out since then. And I haven't really gotten an opportunity to travel for a competition because they always keep talking about the financial issues. They don't have the finances to take us out. And so I was really excited when I heard it was coming to Ghana. This time around, we don't have to travel anywhere, so there's no excuse of there's no money to travel. Then I would get to play at that level, get to play an international match where I get to compare, play against people I've been seeing on TV. You know, elsewhere, they actually, yeah, it's very popular. So they are on TV and everything, so we get to watch them. And so if it doesn't happen, then it's going to be like, was as not by me fear, but I don't get to play. I don't think this will happen. It will happen. <laughs> Abna. Yes, please. Let, let me also find out from you. Uh, will you say, will, will you describe, damn it, how, how did that happen? Why, why did you they take it out? Absolutely. Yeah. I would be so disappointed. <laughs> yes, because as she said, we've played through prim primary school till now for university first, second degrees, and third degrees, and then we don't get to play where our national, uh, where the colors of our national uh, team to play at least some for some others to also see that oh i saw these people rise in this and then they have gotten here so when i also start like this i will also get somewhere then we are not going anywhere so, so we are not improving so, uh, you, hmm. in terms of sports so when when you meet uh, um, among yourself when you chat i know you have platforms you do these things where really do you want us to we quote unquote with the media understand and push you guys to where exactly do you do you guys want us to be there so sometimes you don't dislike us as <laughs> we don't yeah. dislike you but i think um as much as possible you know when other sports are publicized like that um it makes them popular amongst the corporate bodies and so they get a lot of sponsorships so the fact that we are not popular rise means that we do not get access to some of those things so i think if you focus a little bit of your attention on us and the fact that we are women it's very exciting to see a bunch of women together playing it's always beautiful those exactly. who follow we we, we understand uh -huh. so if you market <laughs> us like that then it's going to give us opportunities to have people come to sponsor us because like i'm saying the game is not dead a lot of people are playing but then when it comes to the next step, so I'm playing here now, where is the next place I'm going to play at, which is higher than where I am now? And when people get to know that from this level, I'm going to the next and the next, they will be interested in playing. Abna. Yes, please. With what you've gone through, will you say by chance, um, there's something netball about where you've reached so far? Did it really, it's just it's a game you played at school, you loved it. We just play but really will you say there, there are some elements that you are still keeping there are some uh, attributes of the sports that you are still keeping and still pushing you at where you finish so far oh yes please um my coach dr edward wilson and Sam will always say that netball is only is the only team sports where you when you catch a ball you have three seconds to release the ball and then you also have just one or two steps to make so definitely you need somebody and that, that is what netball has taught me, that in life, you need somebody. You cannot just go on your own. Mm. So you learn how to play with each other as teammates. No matter the circumstance, you have to play with the person. That is your teammate. So that is one thing that I have learned so much in netball. And that's what's carried me through our life. Mm. Because we are not an, you are not an island in life. Okay. You are surrounded by a lot of... When again are you guys free? I, I need to engage you guys more for Ghanaian to really understand this this whole sport for official don't really come back. Because I know ladies in parliament will start sitting and say, Yay, we forgot we know the sports. We sometimes even practice it. But so so at least they can also add their voice to the development of uh, this particular sport. Get even a permanent arena for you guys to always be playing along. I hear my time is up. Please, a passionate appeal. If it is in the plant of the LOC. And the organizers that okay let's uh, exclude netball from it a passionate appeal from you and from you let me start from the area i would like to say that um netball is also part of the sports in the country and it's one of the sports that is readily available to a lot of females we are doing female empowerment these days and so if you want the females in the country to progress through 
the discipline they can learn from sports and netball is one of the very best to introduce to them so they shouldn't take it away from us they should keep this fire burning okay Amna. okay i would as she said i would say that um we also need to keep a game that is ready to teach us a lot in life as i was saying that i have learned some elements from netball and that's what i'm that has been helping me through life so if there is a game like that then we need to keep it so so as to um help develop our young girls so that they know that oh i know the sports so when i go in i play i'll be able to get somewhere so let me go there but if there isn't any avenue that oh if i play from primary school to gss to ss to university then maybe i have a, a club i'm playing for then if there is no national team to uh, to even go out and represent and your then, country yes. then it's like you, because you, we also I, we have seen that there are some players in other countries who get to play in some other countries for their so transfers and then yes. they get money yes and, and, and meaning but that you guys can also make money yes. why not and and we are preventing you from from making <laughs> that's the, money. the thing so so viewers the, the campaign is on tell somebody about netball because uh it's not going to be uh, an exciting thing if all the ladies refuse to patronize the african games because we are not playing netball it will be something else dr toku for swasari and his team please we beg you if there is something you can do or you've taken that decision or everything it can be reversed please uh, let's reverse it and we'll come to your office for more clarification but the ladies here in fact if they decide to do the GFA thing, carry us to court. Then African is they won't do it. <laughs> <laughs> because they are, they are practicing their bite. It, so it's not going to happen. So we are praying that it doesn't happen. So corporate Ghana also sees and then comes somewhere. Imagine all the ladies are playing netball. And the ladies are more than the men in this country, according to the last census that was made in this country. So imagine all ladies playing netball. Charlie, we'll change society. So ladies, thank you very much for your time. I pray you get more time. Come here and let's, let's have more time to talk about mm -hmm. this, your sport, and let's groom it, okay? Yeah, so at least uh, we minimize that. Uh, we kill that perception that yeah. ladies don't do anything. Yeah. On that note, we say thank you very much. Enjoy the day. Today happens to be a holiday. It's the Nkuma Day. And to make sure, if you don't even go anywhere, call somebody and call somebody. And be like a netball player. Don't be a highlight and be in your room. If you watch uh, Netflix, if you watch TV, uh, post, call somebody. Interact with somebody. It becomes... A fruitful day. Thank you very much, um, uh, Yayura and Abna. Thank you very much, Reverend, and also Ernesto for passing through, and then my friends from Woodwise. Uh, the page returns same time tomorrow. Directors, cameramen, everybody, have a lovely day.